Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Cat Legs. I've been searching YouTube uh, a lot lately, so I've been watching a lot of different videos. And when you uh, see different cycling related videos, you often end up with um, recommendations to other videos you can watch. So I was uh, just browsing through YouTube and came across a guy who talked about his uh, fake uh, carbon wheels. So they were not uh, a sip wheel, but they had stickers on them and uh, he had got them for dead cheap in China and stuff. So I thought I'd make a video about Chinese products versus uh, copy products or fake products because there's a huge difference between the two. So let's get started. Now there's a huge difference between buying products from China and buying copied products because just because it's from China doesn't mean, doesn't mean that it's a fake product. You can easily buy frames uh, and wheels that are not counterfeit. They're just regular wheels without any brands on them. Some wheels might be true to Novatec hubs, some to non-branded hubs, but they don't uh, try to be something they're not. Uh, likewise, you can go to um, pages where you can actually buy um, knockoffs. You can find glasses that are identical to the ones that Oakley make. They even have uh, a, a very similar uh, logo to them, but they're not called Oakley. They're called OK or uh, Folkley or something like that. And necessarily, I wouldn't have a problem with that. But there's just a huge difference between the two. Because if you like the Oakley Jarbreaker glass, glasses, buy the Oakley Jarbreaker. Because Oakley has spent a lot of money on developing uh, this design. They've spent a lot of money on getting the facilities to, to make them, and they've spent a lot of money marketing that exact product, meaning that you want to buy it. So you're not just buying a set of glasses, you're actually buying um, a brand. You're actually buying something that when you're out riding, other people will see you and say, hey, he got Oakley's, and he's a cool guy. Might not be a cool guy, especially if they're fake. So. Instead of buying into all this, and they might be just as good, they might be made in the exact same warehouse as uh, the regular Oakleys, but they're not Oakleys. They are not Oakleys. I've seen a lot of different people uh, buying wheels off of China uh, that have had great experience with them, and I've seen some people that have bought uh, wheels from China that have not had great experiences with them. If you go to weight weenies, there's a whole thread about um, the different type of wheels that you can buy and how they have delaminated in the carbon and how uh, the customer service uh, can be a, uh, a bit of pain in the ass, to say the least. So I don't mind you buying wheels from China. I don't. I, I'd be reluctant to do it myself. Um, I wouldn't mind buying a set of wheels from, from China. They, some of the wheels manufacturers are great, and if you get them with the great hubs, you can get Chris King, you can get GZ Swiss, or you can get extra light hubs. No problem. But don't put a fast forward sticker on it, don't put an Envy sticker on it, don't put a SIP sticker on it. They're not SIP wheels. If you have SIP wheels, put a SIP sticker on it. If you have Envy wheels, put an Envy sticker on it. But if you don't, don't put a sticker on it because they're not the exact same thing. And here in Denmark, it's actually uh, you're allowed to import um, counterfeit or fake products from uh, from China, but you're not allowed to resell them. So I've never understood this law because it just doesn't make sense. Because um, you're actually saying to people that have a low morale, basically that. It's okay for you to import this, but you're not allowed to sell it. But how are they going to prevent someone from selling it? Some of these um, copies are really, really close to identical. So how can you be sure that this guy who's importing a cheap brand or a cheap uh, uh, commodity won't be selling it as the real thing? He might not have the receipt for it, but, it, but then again, I don't have a, a receipt for a lot of the stuff I have. So basically what I'm saying is, it's okay to buy stuff from China, buy your handlebar tape, buy your frames, buy your wheels, anything you want to do, 
just don't buy stuff that looks like other things. Don't buy buy the fake Oakleys. Oakleys. Don't buy uh, the uh, Cervelo painted Chinese knockoff frame that doesn't look anything like a Cervelo frame as soon as you put off uh, take off the uh, finish. So please don't buy fake stuff. Okay to buy Chinese stuff. And basically, if you want a set of Oakley sunglasses, you're going to have to pay for it. It's as simple as that. Put yourself in the manufacturer's shoes. If you had made the coolest uh, invention or the coolest design, would you be happy with somebody stealing that idea, making a complete knockoff and selling it for uh, a tenth of the price that you're going to sell it? I don't think so. So don't do fake stuff. Don't do counterfeits. Don't do copies. Do the real thing or do something without a brand at all. So for now, thank you for tuning in. I hope that I haven't upset too many of you. Um, there's a lot of great different uh, options out there. If you want carbon wheels, you can get them in a variety of, uh, of prices. You can get the cheap ones, you can get the crazy expensive ones, but it doesn't have to be a knockoff. Okay? So look at my other videos. Um, hopefully you like them as well. Subscribe to the channel to make sure you always get the latest uh, feed in your newsfeed. And until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you out there. Bye.